Today's video is sponsored by GlassesUSA.com. With over 2,500 styles and brands such as Ray-Ban, Armani, and Tom Ford, you are sure to find what you're looking for, whether you need prescription, non-prescription, sports glasses, or glasses for kids. You should definitely go ahead and check out GlassesUSA.com. They offer free shipping and returns and a 100% money-back guarantee. I don't know anywhere where you can get glasses and lenses prescription starting at $48. When you sign up today to get your first pair of glasses, you will receive a free offer. I'll have more information in the bottom bar if you're interested in checking it out. Okay guys, so as always, I'm going to start my foundation out with a primer. You would do that with any foundation um, routine, but I think especially when you're wearing glasses or an object on your face. I think you should definitely prep your skin for anything that's going to be resting on your face. Your nose, especially along the sides of your face. I'm using a little bit of Tarte Clean Flake in my pore area. And then I'm going to use a little bit of Makeup Forever Primer as well to mattify. Especially in the areas where the glasses touch. I'm gonna make sure to have that matte and clean. So along the nose and along where the arms of the glasses rest, especially. I'm going in with Makeup Forever Matte Velvet. And the thing I like about this is the fact that it's matte. So I'll do less touch-ups during the day and around my nose and face area where the glasses touch. I like feeling like the makeup won't be smudgy or budgy or gooey. I also like this foundation because it's highly pigmented and I can use less, which means for a better wear. Your eye and under eye area are very much pulled into focus when you're wearing glasses. So I always like to make sure to highlight, color correct, conceal, do anything that I need to do. And I like to make sure to use products that are not going to crease or get nasty during the day because all of that is going to really be pulled into focus, um, especially when you wear glasses. So I'm going to go in with NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. I'm going to go in and highlight my under eye area. To make my under eye stand out even more, I'm going to go in with a tiny bit of product in the very innermost of my eye. And I'm going to use that to slightly add a tiny bit more brightness right in this area where the glasses are going to sit. I'm not going to use a lot of um, eyeshadow or anything. I want to keep this look really natural but I want it to be really bright in the center of the face. It's already brightening and giving my inner face and eye area like a very natural lift. And I really like that because sometimes when you're wearing glasses, it can kind of add shadow and just kind of take away from your face a little bit. Even though it's bringing attention, it can kind of take some of the light and glamour away. I'm just going to take a little bit of my contour color right there. As you can see, that's Fashion Fair Teak. Definitely one of my favorites. Just going to go in and lightly cut my cheeks. And what I like about this contour is that it's a cream to powder finish. So you won't have to worry about getting makeup all over your glasses or getting your glasses all over your makeup. It's going to get in there and it's going to dry down like a powder.
Okay, so now I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna set my makeup. And setting is really important. So you're gonna wanna make sure to go in with a really precise brush, applying powder only where you need it, especially in your eye area, but not so much that it gets cakey. So I'm just going in my highlight area with my highlight setting powder. And I like this because I added some IT Cosmetics powder to this. I added some Derma Blend. I added a little bit of Ben Nye, all my favorites. And what it's going to help to do is highlight. It's going to help to set, prolong it. It's going to help to um, give it a little bit of a color payoff. And it's also going to add some blurring properties. And those are all going to be really beneficial, not only for an everyday face for anybody who's wearing makeup, but especially if you wear glasses. You're going to want your eye area to look really fresh and really pretty and bright all day and clean and crease free. You guys know I love my Lancome powder as well as my, um, my Lancome dual finish and you guys know I love my Bobbi Brown. But I also love my L'Oreal Infallible so I decided to kind of add in a little bit of a cheaper alternative today. And I'm just going to go in along the edges and contour. Um, I'm going to wipe my under eye bake away in a minute, but just wanted to give it a second to really brighten. And contour my nose. And doing this is a step that's optional because if you wear glasses you know that the nose rest will rest there so doing a powder or doing a cream first and then doing a powder probably would have been a better option or you can even do like a cream to powder kind of finish like I did with my fashion fair teak but um let's see how this fails us Go in, blush, brush everything away. And what I recommend you do at this point, put your glasses on, see how it looks. See where adding a highlight would be most beneficial. I think something right, right there would be really cute. And then you get to see where your brows fall. And definitely take into consideration when doing your brows and the rest of your makeup how it plays in with your glasses now I wouldn't want to go in and do a really harsh dark brow with these kind of glasses but if I were wearing these I might be able to get away with a more graphic brow and you see how this plays and it lays more on my cheek. So if I were wearing these glasses, I might go in and set right here a little bit more intensely. And I would know that applying a blush right here maybe wouldn't be the best idea. So what I'm gonna do right now is add a little bit of drama to my eyes and please, if you guys hear extra noise, my neighbors are doing renovations. So I'm going to go in with some blazing and also some burnt orange from Anastasia. This is the burnt orange and then this is the blazing. I'm going to take them and mix them together and just pop them in my crease. And this is just for lazy girls like me who don't necessarily like wearing eyeshadow on most days but do like a little drama in the eye. Do like a little prettiness. Just going to go in and add this in the crease. Blazing more toward the V and then blending out a little bit with burnt orange. I usually always do my eyebrows first. I don't know how this came about but it's okay. 
So now I'm going in with Fudge from Anastasia Beverly Hills. And this is just a warm brown matte eyeshadow. And I'm just going to use that to kind of deepen my outer V a little bit and sweep that inward. Give my eyes some definition, kind of carve out my creases a little bit, my hoods, my lids are a little hooded. So this helps. Expand that upward. Go in a little bit more with the dark brown. You see how that gives your eye some definition and a little bit of a look. Now you can go in with a liner and some lashes and you're going to have like a full looking eye. And my recommendation, recommendation, my recommendation for adding a little pop when you wear glasses is depending on what you want your eye to do. Like I like a slinky eye, so I would add a highlight here. If you like a bright eye, add a highlight in the center. If you want your eyes to be completely pulled into focus, then I would probably do a glitter all over and then, or a shimmer all over and then a really deep crease, but you gotta be careful with shimmer and glitter and glasses and sensitive eyes. And you gotta be careful with your lashes, depending on how long they are, if they're gonna reach out and touch your lenses, which could be really annoying when you're wearing glasses. So now I'm just going in with blazing orange and completely fading that out. Okay, so now we're gonna go in and do eyebrows. And I kind of feel like, well not even kinda, I definitely feel like eyebrows are really important when you wear glasses. Not only do they frame your face, so it's important how they look, but because the location of where they are and you're gonna be touching your face and doing different things, potentially with your glasses, I think it's important what you do them with. And on a day-to-day -day basis, I might go in with a wax pencil or a little bit of powder, but on the days that I wear glasses or even shades, I like to go in with a cream and a powder, definitely, and I like to use a wax to comb them into shape first. So I've been loving the uh, Beauty Genius Brow Gel from Anastasia. It's like a waterproof gel. I take it on a brush. I wiggle it back and forth into my lashes. It holds them in place, it acts like a gel, it acts like a wax. And when you're using powder products over this, it makes the powders more pigmented, it makes them last longer, it makes your brows look more graphic and sharper, which is what I like, especially when there's something else on my face that's vying for attention because sometimes powders can look a little ashy they can frame your face good, but sometimes you just really need that extra pow factor. And if you're going to go in with just the powder, then using that um, brow gel really helps the powder to kind of stand out. I'm going to start out with an LA Girl liner, and this is a gel liner in brown. And I'm just going to go in with an NYX um, brow wand, and I'm going to just enhance the shape and fill in sparseness. My brow... Um, technique changes depending on how my brows are done, what kind of effect I'm going for, etc. And I'm just going to go in and strengthen the shape and I'm going in and trying to recreate the brow hairs that are missing. I hate brow loaf, which is what I call brows that kind of look like one product, one texture, one color, no strokes, just brow loaf and I'm taking that through most of the body and through the head and through the tail I like a little black and sometimes I mix black and brown together now as you can see my brows are a little uneven naturally so I lightly try to compensate for that but I don't try to go OD because I feel like having too much product on your brows can really make it look worse than ever. Yeah. 
So now I'm gonna go in with a tiny bit of black. And you gotta be careful with this because you don't want to make your brows overpowering. So I'm gonna just clean that up with some concealer. I actually pulled my brow out a little further than it's been used to going lately, so I might have to correct that. I also like using these gel liners because they let your, la your brows last longer. If you get a little bit too much buildup, just take your spoolie and brush it through. Try to fix that. Arch, head of the brow, tail. Okay, so to clean up my under eye, I'm gonna make sure to go in with something very pigmented. So I'm gonna use the Bye Bye Under Eye. I only wanna use a little bit, that's why I want it to be pigmented. So I could use like the Bye Bye Under Eye, I could use the Kat Von D, I could use the Urban Decay. I'm gonna use this just to go in and fix my brows because they gotta get fixed. Sometimes doing that lets you know where your brow was supposed to go. So I'm gonna go in with a little bit of powder. And this is the Anastasia Brow Duo in Ebony. Make sure the tops of the bristles are clean. So now I'm just going in and I'm kind of trying to clean it up a little bit with this clean fluffy brush. Blend everything out. It doesn't look like I did something major to my eyes. Like doesn't it look like I had some type of major effort going? I didn't. And I like my head to be strong but not too, too pronounced. I'm gonna blend all that out. These brushes come in handy for this kind of work. And I will have the link to this set in the bottom bar. This is when I like to come in and make sure everything, like, genuinely, not genuinely, but aesthetically, your brows Starting somewhere in here is good, but they don't need to be super blunt force trauma. You know what I mean? That's just like, oh, it can be a little bit intense sometimes. See what we have here? Okay. This is porcelain. This is the L'Oreal Infallible and it's an anti-shine powder. And basically it's a face powder. It's just a really, 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 really pale face powder. And I'm just taking it and I'm painting in very, very natural highlights that don't shine, that are matte, that are also not ashy because my tone's underneath. And I'm kind of just upping that natural shape of the face. And if you feel like it got away from you, then just come back in with a dark tone and sweep it. This that I'm going in and highlighting my nose with is that Bye Bye Under Eye that I used underneath my eyebrow. 
and I just want Trace Natural Highlight. I like this because it's pigmented. You use a little and it dries down so your glasses won't be caught up on it. It won't get muddy and nasty and it'll last all day. For my highlight, I'm going to go in with one of these Forever Nude palettes from BH Cosmetics simply because I feel they're super underrated and I love them. They're inexpensive. They have highlight, contour, bronzer, and blush. And they are really, really great tones. I think that one is actually the same. It's like a sculpt and glow kind of palette. And if you're familiar with my channel, you know I like a really kind of natural glow. Um, I like soft, cool tones, natural, pale golds. And I'm just putting it, remember when we put the glasses on and we could see where it was falling really nicely? So I'm just putting it there and places that I think would play really, really nicely um, with the glasses and with the way they sit on my face. I'm not going to put it on the bridge because it's not even going to really show, but the high point, the tip, Everywhere that's showing underneath the glasses arm, the places that peep out over top, and I'm doing it very naturally as far as tone goes, just so it looks a certain way. And then I like to just keep playing back and forth just to see how it looks. So I'm going to go in and set my makeup. is really important to do at any point um, you can skip it but when you're wearing glasses I do think it is that extra step that helps to secure your makeup because of little pieces like this that get in and sit on your face you, I would like to see exactly where they fall and then what I would do is I would go in with some powder and I would set that even more just to make sure that it withstands my makeup I'm gonna go pop on some mascara and some lashes and then when we come back, we'll do the lips. Alright guys, so to finish this look, all I did was go in and I added some waterproof mascara on my bottom lashes and I added some false lashes that are just long enough to peek up over the, lashes when, over the glasses when I look up and then they're not too long to touch the glass. I just went in and added a little black liner in the inner water line of my eyes so it kind of just adds a little dimension and a little bit extra oomph when you're looking at my eyes through glasses. When you turn your head this way, you can kind of see the slight cat eye and definition. The highlight is popping really nicely. Everything is set so my makeup doesn't get gooey and nasty around my glasses. The brows frame nicely without overpowering and I feel like this is a really good glasses makeup face with a little bit of eyeshadow on the eyes so when you lift your glasses your eyes have definition and they don't go dead you ever see somebody take off their glasses and their whole face just kind of saddens a little bit so I really kind of like that and I don't mean that in a negative way I just mean that sometimes glasses add to life so when you take them away you have to have a little bit of something back there these glasses are actually from glassesusa.com I'll have more information in the bottom bar if you guys are interested in checking these out, I have a discount code and a whole bunch more information on their company because I love these and I don't wear glasses but I used to wear glasses all the time and I know that we're coming into a season that's very popular for accessories and different things like that. So whether you need a prescription pair or a non-prescription pair of glasses, I would definitely check out glassesusa.com. I was going to pick up my shades. 
so you can see how cute these are. I have more information in the bottom bar.